Hey guys, in this video what we're going to do is create a custom Joomla uh, quick start or um, just adding our own sample data to a Joomla installation. So ultimately we'll have a package that you can upload to your server, go through uh, a, a standard Joomla installation and choose to install the sample data and then when you go and visit your front end it should look like this. All right, And this site uses the JD Portfolio component from Joom Digi. Uh, and it has its own custom template and we're even going to have it configured like this alright so we have our categories for our portfolio if we click on one brings us to that category which has projects we can click on a single project and it takes us to that project page alright so what we need to do um, I'm using whoop, get that back up here I'm using XAMPP for my server, so my sites are in my htdocs folder, and it's in this JD Portfolio folder. So this is this is this website, all right. So I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop, and I'm going to call it um, JD Portfolio underscore Quick Start underscore J three O because this is going to be a uh, Joomla 3 website 3.2.1 to be specific alright so I'm going to open this quick start folder and I'm going to take all the files and folders from my website and copy them paste them in this folder this quick start and what we need now is a clean Joomla installation uh, and it should be the same version as your site that you want to use for the quick start in my case it's 3.2.1 which I've already downloaded so I'm going to go ahead and find that okay so Joomla 3.2.1 stable package alright and all we need from here is the installation folder alright and yeah that's all we need from there now what we want to do is delete the configuration.php file because when you install Joomla it creates that file for you now in our quick start we want to go into the installation folder and then we want to go into SQL and then MySQL alright so here is where you can actually see the sample data that's offered with the default installation okay so we need our database in this folder so we want to go to phpMyAdmin or if you're using another tool to deal with your database to, to export it and, and so forth that's fine too um, our table is JD Portfolio alright so what I want to do is export this database uh, we can click on custom you want to make sure all the tables are highlighted. Um, you want to make sure that st structure and data is selected. And that should do it. Uh, we can click to add drop table. And that's good. So if we click go, it's going to give us an SQL, which I will save to my desktop. All right, so let's go find that SQL file and we want to bring it over to the installation SQL MySQL folder and we need to change the name to match the other ones here to say sample data sample underscore data underscore and then whatever you want this particular string here this this can be whatever you want okay I'm just gonna keep it at JD portfolio all right. Now there's a few things we need to do in this in this file. Okay. So what we have is it's going to create this database JD portfolio if we leave it as is. So we want to just get rid of this. Joomla will handle that. All right. And we also need to get rid of these um, this pre prefix. By default, Joomla assigns a random prefix to its tables and we don't want that so what we want to do is we're going to copy that including the underscore and go to the top of the file and then click on search replace 
and if you're not using Notepad++, uh, you probably have some kind of replace function. Just look around. It could be in the edit menu. Um, but just find that, and then we want to paste in the prefix, and we want to replace it with uh, the pound sign and then two underscores. All right, and that will replace the prefix during the installation. All right, so you want to just click uh, replace all. We get 276 occurrences re were replaced, uh, and that looks good. So now let's save that. All right, so now we have our sample data file. Now, what we have now will work, um, but during the installation when it, when it shows the sample data, it's going to be formatted like this, sample underscore data underscore JD portfolio. And we don't want that. We want it to just be a nice string that says, uh, you know, with capitals and spaces. So we can do that if we go back into, we'll go up two levels into the installation folder. And we want to click on language. And my default is going to be en-gb. And then I'm going to go to the INI file. All right. And if you're hearing banging and voices in the background, uh, I apologize. Uh, it's actually a snow day, so my kids are home from school. Uh, so I just wanted to apologize for that. Uh, so what we want to do is go down to about to about um, line 95. You can see we have this language string, uh, install sample blog. So we kind of want to just copy this and paste it. And what we're going to do is change the blog to JD Portfolio, or of course you'll change it to whatever your uh, file's called. And then we can just have a, a nice string here. So we'll just say um, JD Portfolio Sample Data. All right, so that's basically the title. Now we want a description. So I'm going to copy this and paste that in and once again replace blog with JD portfolio and we'll just say install Joomla with uh, install Joomla with all JD portfolio sample data alright so that'll give us a nicely formatted string so we'll save that alright now we Again, we could use what we have now, but when we get to the screen to choose our sample data, uh, our JD portfolio sample data is not going to be checked by default. So the user could easily miss that. So what we want to do is make sure that it does get checked by default. So we can do that inside of the localize.xml file, which is in the installation folder. All right, and all we need to do is uh, put in our database file name which is sample data JD portfolio dot SQL and that should make it selected by default alright so you want to make sure you save that now we should be ready to go so if we go back to our the root of our quick start folder and select everything and we want to copy that into our uh, in your case you may be uploading it via FTP or maybe what I'm doing using a local server but we're gonna go to htdocs which is my server root and I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm just gonna call it um, QS1 and I'm gonna paste our quick start package or installation alright now what we need to do is create a database for our Joomla site so in PHP my admin I'm going to create a database called QS1 and make sure that that's there yep so we have an empty database called QS1 alright so now what we want to do is go to the front end of our site so localhost slash QS1 and it'll take us to a Joomla installation which I'm sure you've seen before uh, I'm just going to say sample quick start admin email username we'll say admin 
next uh, next all right so the next thing we need to do is fill out our database information database name is QS1 prefix is fine you can leave it okay next uh, so now you can see our sample data is there and it's chosen I'm not sure why it's not formatted let's go back into let's see inside of our site QS1 which is this site that we're in now let's go to installation uh, language make sure that everything's okay so go to our any file let's see sample data oh you know what this should be sample data alright same thing with the title where are we JD portfolio this should be sample data underscore all right so let's save that and see if we can reload I have to go through this again all right so now you can see that our string is nicely formatted JD portfolio sample data all right so let's install this So just remember to do the sample underscore data. All right, so we'll remove our installation directory, visit our site and cross our fingers, and there it is, all right? So we just installed Joomla and we have all of the sample data, component, uh, data, and template, and configuration. All right, so that's how you can make your own quick start package.